Hey, what's up YouTube? In this problem, we have a differential equation and we're going to attempt to solve it. So here is our equation and then here, this is called an initial condition. This is saying that when t is equal to 1, l is equal to negative 1. That's what this says, right? This says when t is 1, l is equal to negative 1. So we're going to solve this and at the very end of the problem, we're going to use our initial condition. This is called an initial value problem. So how do we solve this? Well, I'm thinking we can separate this. What that means is we're going to get all the variables together by themselves on one side. So here we have a dl, so we should put the l's on the left-hand side. So maybe we can divide by l squared and then multiply by dt. So we'll have dl, so dl over l squared. Then we'll multiply by dt, so we get k natural log of t dt. So again, all we've done is divide by l squared and multiply by dt. Now what we'll do is we'll integrate both sides. So we'll get integrate here and we'll integrate here. To integrate this side, what we can do is we can write it as l to the negative 2 dl, and then we can use the power rule. To integrate this, um, I'll, I'll pull the k out. You can leave it in, but let's pull it out. And um, let's make a, um, well, you know what, let's, let's yeah, let's make an a integration by parts here. So I'll leave the k in. So we'll let u be equal to k ln t. This is a famous integral. To integrate ln x, you just use parts, right? I actually have the integral memorized, um, but let's go through the process just so you learn how to do it. So if you're integrating ln, you just let u be your ln. In this case, there's a k here. And then you have to pick your dv. So dv it will be dt. And the formula we're going to use says that if you have u dv, it's equal to uv minus the integral of v du. That's the integration by parts formula, right? So whenever you have a natural log, um, just use parts to integrate it. Unless, of course, you have the integral memorized. So we'll let u be k ln t, dv is what's left over. So du will be k times 1 over t dt. That's because the derivative of ln is 1 over t. And when you integrate dv, you just get t. So v is equal to t. All right, good stuff. So now we'll use the parts formula. So it's uv. So it's uv. Right, uv, uv, so it'll be uh, kt ln t minus the integral of v du, right, v du. So the t's cancel, right, the t's cancel, so you, 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 ju you just get k, right? This is k, k dt, right, k dt. So this is going to be, when you integrate this one, you add 1, you use the power rules, so you get l to the negative 1 over negative 1 equals, you have kt ln t minus kt plus our constant, which I'll call c. So this is going to be negative 1 over l equals kt ln t minus kt plus c. Let me go over that again because I went kind of fast. Just recap from the beginning really quickly. So when you see the problem at the beginning, you start, you first separate the variables, right? So we divide it by l squared, we multiply by dt, and so we get here. When you get here, you say, okay, that's the power rule. You just bring it upstairs. Piece of cake, right? Super easy. In this case, though, um, we have a log you want to use uh, in the integration by parts formula. Unless, of course, you have the integral memorized, which you don't need to use it. So what you do when you use parts is you let u be your ln piece. In this case, there was a k, so we decided to let the k go with the u as well. Take the derivative, you get 1 over t dt, and the k hangs out. Integrate dv, and you get t. Then just use the parts formula, so it's going to be uv minus the integral of v du. Boom, we're here. Um, last thing to do is find c. So when t is 1, L is equal to negative 1. So let's use our initial condition. So let's impose, impose the initial condition. Let's do it. So that means L is going to be negative 1. So we get negative 1 over negative 1. Negative 1 over negative 1 is 1. Boom. So negative 1 over negative 1 is 1. We get kt. So t is 1. ln 1. Well, that's great. ln 1 is 0. Minus k times 1 plus c. So this is going to be 1 equals, this is 0, minus k. Right? Minus k, apparently. I haven't done this problem, so it's kind of a little bit of shocker. And then you add k, so you get k, c equals k plus 1. So the final answer uh, will be uh, 1 over l equals kt ln t minus kt, and then c was k plus 1. And you could solve, uh, you could solve for l, but nothing in the problem said to do that. But we could solve for big L. We multiply by big L and divide by the rest of the stuff. That's it. Thanks for checking out my channel. Bye-bye.